Okay, welcome back to the channel, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And as you can see, I've applied primer to the Tamiya 4 GPA Jeep. And now we're going to talk about the base color. I decided that I was going to start with the Tamiya Olive Drab. And I really wanted it to be much lighter, like I was seeing in some photographs. And of course, I know that photographs can be different shades depending on the camera used or the lighting. So. I picked my favorite photo and decided to match it. Here's the result. I think it turned out excellent. I'm really happy with the color. Uh, it took me a couple of mixes to get it just right. I basically worked with the XF62 Tamiya Olive Drab, XF57 Buff, and XF3 uh, the Yellow to get just the shade that I wanted. And I'm very pleased with how it looks. Now moving on to the wheels, I decided to airbrush them black and then with this circle template uh, cover up the black portion of the tire and then spray the base coat on the actual wheel itself. And as you can see here I've res this results sometimes in a little bit of overspray so in this video I'm going to show you how I fix some of this overspray here. And what I'll do is I'll come back with the tire color I like to work with NATO black Tamiya. Uh, I find that true black, flat black or gloss black is just too too dark. So I'm going to go over the overspray. I've thinned this paint down quite a bit and as you can see I'm just working around the rim here. If I happen to slip I'll just rub off the paint off the rim or maybe even go back at it with the base color after everything is dry. It's not something that I need to fret too much over. I will be weathering the wheels and tires at some point and much of this will be obscured by dirt or dust or mud. But for now, I just wanted to clean it up a bit. So I'm just going to continue to check and if it doesn't need to be painted over, I'm not going to worry about it. Just to show you some of the consistency here, this is how thin I like to have the paint. Occasionally I will use the Tamiya Retarder, but I know that I'm going to work pretty quickly here and don't need to use it. But I do recommend using Tamiya Retarder along with Tamiya Paints. Those of you that do work with Tamiya Paints, you know that it dries very quickly being an acrylic, uh, lacquer acrylic that is. And it tends to dry very quickly and then is difficult to work with after some time. So the Retarder actually slows down the the actual drying process. When I use the retarder I'll I'll do the amount that they recommend which is about 10% uh, retarder to 90% paint and thinner. Okay, I'm just going over a little bit and I'm gonna take a moment here just to check all of the other sides make sure that I got everything. Taking a little time to focus here sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, all the sides look great. Yep. And I think we're going to stop there. Thanks again for watching. Please hit subscribe.